so it's been raining for a couple of days and we're in a kind of tropical depression I'd say and the pressure has been very low atmospheric pressure has been very low which makes it really easy to distill because of the low vapor pressure that's required um, to get things to evaporate so we're, we don't have to pull such a high vacuum which means we'll get a better yield. Because when we're pulling a really hard vacuum off of that evaporative process, we sometimes pull a little bit of the essence with the alcohol. And the, the least amount of, of vacuum that we can use, and the least amount of heat will yield a better product. So today I'm taking advantage of the of the low pressure system and I'm going to be distilling lilac. So I, what I've done is I've taken 38 ounces of 38 ounces, 38.6 ounces of lilac pomade from 2023. It was a really good year. It's fantastic. It smells so good. And I'm going to be putting that in, in this alcohol, letting it sit for a few weeks. It is 190 proof perfumer's alcohol that I'm using. It's ethanol, cane alcohol. And it's got the least amount of smell. I don't want to impart any scent into my lilacs. So in a few weeks, this will be ready. Maybe a few months even. What happens is the lilac essence, or the, in this case, the, the lilac essential oil, if you will, um, it will migrate into the alcohol over time. I can speed up this process, and <clears throat> that's really what I, I need to do because I've got an order for an ounce. So I've been speeding up the process through a, a little method of my own where I'm mixing and constantly chopping it up. It's, it's sort of like the old-fashioned batus, where I'm breaking down the pieces into very small pieces, and then I'm filtering out the fat and running the alcohol, which has the essence migrate into, migrated into it. I'm running that on the evaporator at very low temperature and low vacuum. So I can evaporate off the alcohol and leave what's behind, which is usually a, a mill or two, maybe uh, a teaspoon in some cases, if it's really good for mod. After evaporating a quart of the alcohol extract, we call it at that point, because it's got the lilac essence migrated into it, about a quart of the extract will yield, in a, in a good situation, it will yield a teaspoon of essence of lilac absolute. But I'm, I'm hoping for two mils, that would be great in um, each of these. Now this is going to be the first wash. So each of these should yield two mils. If I get two mils from each first wash of, of six jars that I've got going, I can probably get uh, maybe 10 or 12 mils of lilac essence. So you see why it's so expensive. It's incredibly expensive to make and time consuming. But I'm dedicated. You can do it too. You can do it with any flower that can't be distilled. You can do it with even flowers that can be distilled. And you'll get a much richer, fresher smelling essence that way. This is going to be the first wash, and I'm going to take you through it. And I'll do a second wash. We'll see what the, pro the product viability is on the second wash. Sometimes it's not as good, and I want the A grade. The triple A grade for this client who wants an ounce. So I'm going to be very careful and I'm going to take it step by step through it all. I'll come back in a few weeks. 